Ooh, I have watched a romantic comedy alone. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I should be doing the trash again. But anyways. <laughs> I know, this is sort of telling on us here. Just Senator Haggerty, thank you for taking time out of your otherwise serious schedule today to play my drinking game. Uh, <laughs> no drinks, only getting to know one another. The last time I was able to interview you, it was very serious. Senator Cruz was there. We were talking about issues and things. Profound questions. Conversation. And I, I promise you this will be much more frivolous. I will ask the question first. You have to guess how I would answer. Okay. You, I have an advantage here because you're a U.S. Senator, so I probably know what you think more than you know what I think. <laughs> I own cryptocurrency. So you have to answer whether, whether you think I own cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to guess yes. Got the yes card there. I'm ashamed to say you're wrong. I would, oh. I would be a wealthier man today. <laughs> oh, actually, no, you know what? I answered wrong, you answered right. I do own cryptocurrency. I don't own any of the good ones. Bitcoin or, you know, I don't own the ones that make you money. I've bought the dumb meme coins. Uh, Let's go Brandon coin, Doge coin, all got the it, ones. Got it, got and it. so I've lost all my money. Uh, but luckily it was only a small amount of money. But my friends who invested in Bitcoin or other forms of crypto earlier are now uh, wealthier than me, probably. No, I, I tell you, my... my um, I my, my, my children are upset with me because I won't let them invest in it. Um, I want to be able to legislate. I don't want to have any ownership because right. that would just, I don't, well, I don't think it's a conflict of interest. It would certainly draw, you know, ire in the media. So we don't do it, but my kids have been dead. You know, this is, this is, you're making us miss these opportunities. Well, but. especially some of your colleagues, I can't help but notice, especially the Democrat colleagues, especially those in the lower chamber, uh, do sometimes seem to have really high performing portfolios. Oh, and that raises it. some questions about their uh, government work. Yeah, yeah. So uh, honorable, even though you're foregoing potentially some great returns. Yep. Ooh, I have watched a romantic comedy alone. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I should be doing the trash again. But anyways. <laughs> I know, this is sort of telling on us here. Uh, has Senator Tim Scott watched a romantic getting, getting comedy? Getting married next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Senator Scott has no. Okay, all right. You're getting married next. It's next, next Saturday. Next Saturday. I knew you were engaged. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That's I'm great news. All right. Hundred percent. And great news for your wife that you've never watched a, oh my God. a romantic comedy alone. I've watched a number of Iron Man shows alone. I mean, I've watched Superman. I know DC comedy. People get upset. Yes. But bottom line is simply this: there are some things a man can do. And then there's some things I cannot do. Others may be more comfortable than I am. Sure, you're not casting aspersions. I, I'm not telling you what you should do. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what I will not do. You will not yes. do. There's so much more to say. First, though, go to preborn.com slash Knowles. The left is zealous for the blood of babies, going as far as supporting free abortions at the DNC. Kamala's extreme, radical stance for abortion is clear in her running mate. As First Things reported, quote, Tim Walls supports the right to infanticide. Infanticide is the taking of a baby's life after birth. I suppose it would also refer to it before birth, but specifically after birth, that's what they're supporting. It's insane. The media have dubbed this the abortion election. We've got to stand up to this evil. When you join forces with Preborn, the largest pro-life organization in the country, you're protecting the greatest victims in our society, babies in their mother's womb. Preborn's network of clinics is positioned in the highest abortion areas in the country. They've rescued over 300,000 babies. When a woman considering abortion searches to end her baby's life, preborn is there. The power of the ultrasound combined with God's love doubles a baby's chance at life. One ultrasound is just $28. Five ultrasounds are $140. Right now, to donate securely, dial pound 250, say baby. That is pound 250, keyword baby, or you can go to preborn.com slash Knowles, preborn.com slash Knowles. There are valid reasons for hiding money from your spouse. Hmm. <laughs> so, Probably relevant to the think, Bitcoin conference. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think you would say, I think you would say no. You're right. You would say no. Okay, but I've got one counterexample. What, what if it's not necessarily intentional, 
but you're one of these guys who got into crypto 10 years ago and you got a bazillion dollars on a thumb drive and you lost it in your sock drawer and now no one knows where it is. That would be, that would seem to me a valid reason to hide it from your, sp- you would be hiding it from yourself as well. <laughs> I guess so. But I've heard of people I think your wife this. would be very upset with you if she found out that you, you, you lost that sort of value. Um, but I, I, I tell you, having that sort of openness and clarity, I read an article not long ago about a guy who passed away and he left his 401k to some girlfriend years, be- years before and forgot about it. <laughs> and after he passes away, his family's like, what happened here? L- lucky for the old girlfriend, yeah, the I old guess. Girlfriend, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I, I think generally yeah. that's probably. Yeah. Also because, I'm not saying I'm bad with money. I find the wives can be a little more organized sometimes. or mati- So uh, just even for my own preservation of my own family yeah. as well, it's better that she knows where things are. I think that's right. My, my wife is, is, is also, she's got a master's degree in economics, but she's very adept at spending money too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Far better than I am. Side, yeah. <laughs> Marvel movies are modern-day Westerns. Hmm. How you would answer. Can I show your audience my answer? You can. Yeah, I'll look away. Okay. Man of culture, say you say yes. You got it right, man. Yes. Listen, there's no doubt I was a Bonanza fan growing up. You know, I, I, every day when it came on, you yeah. wanted to watch it. Everybody liked Hoss, you know, <laughs> Little Joe. Today, everyone likes Iron Man. Yes. It, it, just, it's undeniably true. It is the pop culture. Of our century, of and our time. It's also literally true in that Logan is a superhero movie, <laughs> but it's a Western. It's basically it, it, a Western. It basically has the same characteristics, mm-hmm. not specifically, but figuratively speaking, yes. as the old Western, yes. where you have enough time to develop a love and a passion for a character. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. All he right. almost dies, he comes out to life, but then he dies again. Okay. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> if a random stranger were being attacked by a shark in shallow water, I would jump in to help. This is what I jump in to help. Mm-hmm. For a random stranger... I'm learning about myself as I consider this question. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with yes. I at least like to think I would. I don't know <laughs> if I'd be the most help generally, but I, I think it would be, no. one would be morally obligated to provide some no, assistance. No, absolutely. And, and, and that assistance might be the difference in life and death. Yes. Okay. That's good. Now, I hope it's not tested, but, but, uh, and I appreciate your, your faith in me that I would do the right thing. Cigar, this is an outrageous prompt. This is an outrageous prompt. You have to answer how I would do it. Cigars are just pretentious cigarettes. Oh. That's all right. This isn't going to take me two no. seconds to answer. No. I mean, well, Obviously. That, that's, that's insulting. That is deeply insulting. Insult. I wish deeply I had insulting. a beautiful Mayflower yeah. cigar to give you right now <laughs> on this. I'm furious so at whichever producer wrote that question. Yeah. Because the other thing is, something is not pretentious if it is not pretend. You know, and cigar smokers, <laughs> I'm just speaking for myself. Yeah. I, there's nothing, I love a good cigar. I, I knew the answer to that. And all my cigar loving friends, yeah. none of them are pretentious. None of them are no. No. To pretend. That's right. Best wishes for the nuptials. Thank you very much. Moon. Thank Absolutely. you for sitting down. This was a lot of fun. Senator Haggerty, thank you very Certainly. much for taking Certainly. the time. That was fun. If you've not already, you must go to dailywire.com slash shop. You must get the yes or no game so you can play yourself. <laughs>